all sorts of life cycles on the planet, but it also goes through a cycle all its own. Today on Made of Water, we're going to be exploring the water cycle and, how it, and its journey all over the world and through all three states of matter. And in fact, I have been jotting down in my most team the different states of water, of matter, that water can be found in all three throughout the water cycle. When we say water, we tend to think of liquid water, but we could also just as easily be talking about solid water, which is usually ice, or gaseous water, which could be anything like steam, water vapor, etc. En route through its cycle, water affects everything it touches, especially things that live right in it. Stuff like plants and algae and insects, and all sorts of animals, mollusks, fish, birds, and a whole bunch more. Some would include mermaids in that, but either way, this is just one of many reasons that we need to take good care of water um, by not wasting it and being careful with what we allow to be mixed into it. So let's go look at the water cycle a little closer back inside. The water cycle is one of the most important cycles on the planet. Jacques Cousteau actually once said that until we understand the connection between the water cycle and the life cycle, we won't be able to do much about conservation, truly. Um, people generally tend to think that precipitation is the beginning and end of the water cycle, but since it's a cycle, um, there's not really a beginning and end. We can start there, though. Um, Precipitation is where water falls from the sky, literally from the clouds, in the form of rain, sleet, snow, or hail. Um, it, um, it enters the groundwater system, which includes lakes, rivers, streams, ponds. Um, some of them are above ground, some of them are underground. Then it will finally, most of it, will get to the ocean if it doesn't. Water here will evaporate into the atmosphere and condense on dust particles up there, forming clouds. online at katerinamermaid.com.